Hello again gamers, not so long time no see. Uh, if you remember correctly, back in October I did one of these unboxing videos for the Loot Crate Geek and Gamer subscription box. Well, if you couldn't tell, it is December already and I haven't done one for November. That's because the November box came in, lots and lots of stuff going on and I just didn't have a chance to open it, but it is here now. I opened the box, but I didn't actually go through what was inside of it, just wanted to make sure it wasn't like on fire or damaged or something. So I thought I'd go ahead and open it for you guys, show you what's inside it and all of that fun stuff. Uh, keep in mind, if you would like to sign up for this box, you can do so through lootcrate.com. You can also use my referral link down in the description. It doesn't help a ton if you do. It's like, I think it's $5 I get for every time somebody else signs up. And I think so far one person has. If it's something you're not interested in, that's cool. It's just something I, I think is kind of neat, especially being a geek and a gamer like I am. So this says, Happy November, looters. The Loot Crate mission was to deliver awesome. This one is called Infinity. Holidays are approaching. We need to kick back and get gaming. Infinity had great tie-ins. Halo 4? Ooh. So yeah, this box, Master Chief, Cube Lessons, and Minecraft stickers. Looks like some good stuff to come. We have a sticker from Node Studios. That's, if I remember right, that's the YouTube channel that Freddie Wong started with a bunch of other gamers for gaming stuff, maybe playing games and game-related VFX tutorials. So not really a sticker I'm going to use, but still cool to have. Um, blue Team. Apparently I'm on the Loot Crate Blue Team now. Let's see, the beginner's guide for the Rubik's Cube. Uh, trivia here, I've never actually solved a Rubik's Cube because I've never owned a Rubik's Cube. I've only ever had my hands on one. What is that? Let's see, just going on through the stuff here. I break for pork. <laughs> Minecraft bumper sticker there. Probably a couple other ones I would have preferred, but just getting to the point here. Oh, <laughs> I own a Rubik's Cube now, apparently. Um, it's a little sticky, but I'm sure it will loosen up in time. That's what she said. Yeah, and it does appear to be fully functional. Yeah, turns on all sides, so cool. I'll have to mess it up at some point and see if I can make it work. It does have this little keychain attached to it, so I can stick it in my... I'm not going to stick this in my pocket. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Sharp corners near... Not going to happen. Yeah. What else do we have in here? A crumpled up Jinx.com hacker bumper sticker. That, honestly, uh, if you've seen my other channel, my Twill.tv or my original This Week in Linux channel, this is a cool bumper sticker in my opinion. Something I could see putting on a laptop, though I'm not generally the type to put stuff on laptops. What else do we have in here? I did hear about this. The the 90s kid in me likes this, although that's a little odd. Uh, Tobuscus slap bracelet. And it feels a lot different from the ones we had in the 90s, but still, you slap it and it's a bracelet. Uh, not something I'm probably going to be wearing, but I might give it away to somebody or give it away to a viewer if somebody's interested in it. Um, yeah, it's it slaps on your stuff on my hairy, hairy arm. <laughs> I don't know, if I remember correctly, back in the 90s, these kind of things were actually banned because they had a really thin paper shell on them, and they had a tendency to rip, and then the, whatever was inside of them would cut you. <laughs> it looks like they may have resolved that with these newer runs of them. All right, and what is this? Pwn gum, P-W-N gum, uh, energy gum for gamers. Couple of calories and lots of caffeine. Oh yeah, let's just try a piece. You know, I could use a little caffeine right about now. Mm hmm. Mint flavored. Definitely not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and spit it out for now and come back to it later when I need some energy while I'm editing. And what I would assume is the last thing in the box I'm actually kind of excited about because it's a t-shirt, but it's not a black t-shirt. It's not a white t-shirt. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be, from the picture on here, I thought it was gonna be kind of a light colored one because the picture on here shows a very light gray or light blue. Nope. This is a dark green, which I'm kind of a fan of, except it's dark green with blue on it. I guess that could be kind of a gray color, but either way, it's got the Master Chief helmet on it, and I have played Halo a decent amount in the past. I actually have not played any of the uh, the latest ones, the last couple that have come out, but I used to be a bit of a Halo player. Never online, though, because I'm not a 12-year-old. <laughs> I'm not put, trying to put anybody down there, but there's a lot of nasty 12-year-olds on Xbox Live. But anyway... So all in all, 
not a bad box. Uh, definitely hit home with the geek and gamer part. You know, you've got the hacker sticker, you've got the Minecraft bumper sticker, Tobuska stuff. Yeah, Master Chief, gamer, uh, excuse me, energy gum for gamers. Lots of lots of little interesting things. A nice sort of a, it's not exactly a Christmas box. I'm wondering what the December box is going to contain because if the, the November box had some decent stuff in it and actually the one before had some very decent stuff in it, December box, round out the year. Hopefully they'll have something really nice. Uh, one way or another, thanks to Loot Crate for putting out this very interesting subscription box. I've seen some different company subscription boxes along the way. My wife did one from, uh, I think she did the one from Hunt's, and uh, they're, they're mainly like a ketchup and a tomatoes company, and it was not a particularly good box. I hate to put it down, but it just was not worthwhile. It was a bunch of stuff that you know, she will never ever look at again, or she ended up giving away to friends and family, so I don't know. This box, I, it's a lot of it's just little memorabilia things, little things that I may not want to keep on me and use every day, but they're nice to have as props, they're nice to have as, you know, little things like I could put this at my desk at work and use it when I'm uh, wanting to stop concentrating on something for a minute, and, you know, when I want to take my mind off of coding, that'd be nice to have. Energy gum for those days when the days get very long t-shirts so you're not naked yeah I, I can definitely see this month as being justifiable you've seen what's in it I think they might still have some available through their website if you just check out uh, lootcrate.com I think they've got a link up there from what I looked at there are some other boxes they're offering now too uh, different things like a Christmas gift type things for Doctor Who and oh what were some of the other ones Doctor Who's the one that stuck out for me Minecraft I know and uh, just a couple of others uh, Batman maybe and they're things that you can get and give to other people as gifts, but for the price, it didn't seem worthwhile to me. Might be more worthwhile to you and yours. Anyway, though, I think that's going to be all from me for today. Uh, I have at least one more video planned for this channel for the very near future. There's a game that Google, hit, or excuse me, the Niantic Project, which is a subsidiary of Google, is putting out called Ingress that I've been playing for the last few weeks. I've actually been um, lax on it, let's put it that way where I haven't been keeping up with things, and I would like to put together a quick video just showing how the game works and showing what you do when you play it. And especially now that a few of the portals around here have lapsed, it will be very nice timing to be able to do that. Uh, before you ask, I do not have any invites to that game, so don't even bother. I don't know if anybody has invites at this point. But I thought I would do a quick video on that, showing you what it is, how you play it, and all that fun stuff. So look forward to that in the near future, and some more multiplayer gaming as time allows. But anyway, that's all from me for today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again in the very near future. Bye, guys.